Hey Weirdos! I don't typically post episodes of Church of the Undead or Daily Undead here in the Weird Darkness podcast, but I laughed so hard when listening to this guy's podcast episode the other day, I wanted to make sure as many people could hear it as possible. I have never known anyone as raw, upfront, and honest about their walk with Jesus and how bad they are at it <laughs> than Brian Duncan. Uh, if more Christians would be like this when talking about their faith, we'd have a lot more butts in church seats, or maybe have Christian comedy clubs. It's no wonder that it was at one of his concerts that I gave my life to Christ, because this guy, man, he has the same attitude that I do. He's just really good at expressing it. Hello, Weirdos! I'm Pastor Darren. Welcome to Your Daily Undead from The Church of the Undead. This is my opportunity to bring you into what I'm doing with my own daily Bible studies, or perhaps bring you a short message of hope and encouragement during the week aside from the normal Sunday episodes. If you've not already subscribed, be sure to do so now so you don't miss future uploads, and please invite others you think might also like the podcast. Tell them to visit WeirdDarkness.com slash church for links to the podcast, our Facebook page, and more. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Another website I think you want to check out is NutshellSermons.com. The reason I say that is my buddy Brian Duncan, he takes the pulpit in his own podcast and comes up with some hilarious sermons. Nutshell sermons are so much fun. Along with those, in the same podcast, he also has prayers that you won't hear in church, and they're just as hilarious. To give you a sample, I thought I would share what I heard the other day on his podcast here in the Daily Undead. I laughed when listening, and I hope you do too. Brian, your lunatic friend, you ever been accused of being self-centered? Me too! If you're married, I know you've heard that. You only talk, you don't listen, you're inconsiderate, sometimes I don't even think you're a godly man. Yeah, I've heard all those things, and not just from my wife, and maybe the next thing I shouldn't have said was maybe we should take out an ad for a godly man in the paper. Why is it that people are astonished when they find that you are self-involved? In 2 Corinthians it says, all of us who are contemplating the Lord's glory are being transformed. Clearly my trans transformation isn't finished. I'm still a human being transformed. Seems to me that if you're pointing out someone else's self-centeredness, you're looking for a little of your own. Yeah, I know. Jesus said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself, take up the cross and follow me. I'm following Jesus, but I'm kind of dragging the cross. But trying not to be self-centered doesn't mean that I hang on it, just so you can see my sacrifice just for you, which is a real load off. And I follow Jesus because I can't fix you, and I wish somebody would. He must increase, and I must decrease. I can't even decrease my pants. So how am I supposed to take care of myself and look out for others at the same time? Doesn't seem like we quote the golden rule very often these days. Do for others as you would have them do for you. But if you didn't have any self-interest, how would you know what to do for others? But then Romans says, people who are self-centered aren't able to please God. Love your neighbor as yourself, the Bible says. Well, now I might be doing that if I compare my self-love to this list. The Bible says love is patient and love is kind. And that's not me. Follow by a whole list of things in there that I'm not, because I could pretty much check off a lot of things that love is not. Envious or rude, it's not boastful or arrogant, doesn't want its own way. Even if I could get past all that, I'm not going to get past being irritable and resentful. The only good thing in that verse is that I don't rejoice in my wrongdoing, but then I don't deny it either. Somebody told me once, I just want you to love me the way I would love me if I were you. So maybe the best that I can do is to love you the way you would love you if you were me. And there's your nutshell sir right there. Again, you can check out Brian's podcast at NutshellSermons.com. Or wherever you listen to podcasts, just look up Nutshell Sermons and you'll find it there. If you enjoyed the message, or if you like the Church of the Undead in general, please tell others about the podcast who you think might also want to join in. Tell them about Church of the Undead as well as Nutshell Sermons. You can find links to both podcasts in the episode notes. You can also find the Church of the Undead Facebook page and more at WeirdDarkness.com slash church. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Thanks for joining me, Weirdos. Until next time, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless.